us as a people of Cross River State who started a horizon and escape of dream to set up a Bakasi deep sea port aimed at creating a market and a new opportunity for our people. Today marks the beginning of the crystallization of this conceptual framework into reality. Therefore, the choice of China Harbor in partnership has become very critical, imperative, sensitive, and adequate and suitable because indeed they did a pre feasibility, they did the battery metric survey, they did the geotechnical survey, and they did the technical design. Therefore, they are most competent and most suitable to commence the construction phase of this project. My first visit to China Harbor was in 2016 when we went to their headquarters in China. And since then, we've been going on until we had a very big slam on the EIA issue, and for three years, we were stuck in court with the federal government over the concept of EIA for the Bakasi Deep Sea Port and its evacuation corridor, the superhighway. Unfortunately, one would have imagined that a nation that has their need for infrastructure will just be excited to see the commitment to the infrastructure concept of Nigeria. More so that its beginning, the groundbreaking was performed by the president himself, President Muhammad Buhari. For three years, we were locked in court. Eventually, with the intervention of the presidency, and indeed the president in particular, we were able to get the approval to commence work on the basis of the approval of the EIA. The story today is that we are done with that stage, we are done with the design stage, and I must also specially commend China Harbor. We have a contractual responsibility to them, the financial obligation we have been struggling to meet, but they have kept faith with the project because they believe in the project. We owe them certain part of the construction fees, but they are ready to go ahead to just see that this project becomes a reality. 